Hi, Vaidotas. How are you? Hey, good, good. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very happy you took the time uh, for this. Yeah, you know, nice mean, to be here. Yeah, people, they, they use uh, the software, but uh, I mean, maybe they, they don't know uh, who you are and uh, etc. So I thought it was a, a good idea to do this. In the future, we I think we will interview some users to have their feedback. But I felt it was necessary for people who don't know you or don't know our tool uh, to know more about uh, why you build this tool, who you are, etc. Yeah, sure, it's awesome. Um... So the the first question is pretty simple. It's uh, quite personal, but uh, could you introduce yourself very briefly? Yeah, sure. So my name is Vaidotas. Uh, um, I saw that some uh, users were asking how to pronounce my name. So here you go. It's Vaidotas. I'm from Lithuania. Yeah, so uh, basically, yeah, I, I'm a trader. I, I trade full time for the last uh, five years, approximately. Yeah, so it means that uh, trading, trading is my main uh, job for the last five years uh, so yeah that's basically who i am well, what do you specialize in uh, for trading do you trade uh, action um, do you trade uh, how do you call this uh, special special kind of security or um maybe mostly i trade options i trade options on mostly us uh, stocks and the etfs yes it's, Sometimes I buy and sell stocks outright, of course, yeah, but about 80% of, of, of my trading is in options. Now, of course, it wasn't the case um, all, for all the time, but, but yeah, so I trade stocks and ETFs and mostly structured trades using options. Okay. The, you end up uh, trading, making, uh, you know, this your primary activity. Oh, so it was <laughs> it was a long journey. Good, good question. So, uh, like a lot of people, so, so I uh, was introduced to financial markets and trading uh, by seeing an ad on the internet. But it, it was a long time ago, like eleven years, I think so. And uh, at least here in Europe, uh, you know, there was a period where these uh, so-called forex brokers were uh, advertising all over the internet and so on that hey you can trade with uh, leverage you can borrow money and trade currencies and uh, and so on <laughs> and i saw one of those ads and i and i mm, decided to try it out yeah, yeah so of course as a beginner when i knew nothing yeah i was trading uh, uh, indices and forex with uh, some crazy amount of leverage so we're talking like 100 to 1 even more so basically you open a position and you <laughs> blow your account uh, so so yeah so for, so first uh, it was a losing journey so basically i was uh, i lost like five trading accounts uh, before i realized like that i <laughs> need to uh, change uh, the way I do things and that I need to seek some proper education and so on. Yeah, but it's good, it's good because I, I believe uh, this way is still a lot better um, because, you know, I learned my lessons and you cannot learn this by, I don't know, reading a book or, uh, or from a course or something. Uh, yeah, you make your mistakes and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll learn from those mistakes. <laughs> so, so, of course, yeah. So uh, for the first five years, uh, yeah, so I was working, maybe, actually, I'm a drummer. <laughs> yeah, I was drum I'm a drummer. I played in a couple of bands uh, from uh, hard rock, metal to pop music and so on. So, so that was, uh, yeah, so, and I had the... Uh, this interest in, in uh, doing something else uh, it's yeah 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 so so yeah first five years was just a losing journey and then i started to seek proper education okay so yeah i think we started. we all go through the same uh, path losing money you know it's the best way to <laughs> to then make money actually yeah absolutely and uh, uh, so how long did it take you for, for to become profitable and develop uh, an edge uh, to make money and stop losing it? Yeah, so, uh, okay, so the most important thing I believe is uh, 
to find a good mentor. So I can stress it enough. Now, after all the all the journey, all the mistakes, and all and everything, now I can clearly say that what changed my, well, maybe life, but what changed uh, the way I do things and trade and. Uh, uh, was a mentor. So I uh, started seeking proper education and I found that com this company uh, online, ITPM, it's Institute of uh, Trading and Portfolio Management. So it's a great company where prior professional uh, traders and uh, portfolio management managers from firms like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Nomura, and so on. Now they are uh, teaching uh, retail traders how it's done on a professional level. So I started uh, learning uh, from their program pr pr programs. Uh, so mostly it's what it's what it can be called a global macro long short portfolio management, something like that. Yeah. So basically, uh, it was a very uh, good course on macroeconomics, uh, the top down, bottom up, uh, how to generate ideas, how to structure ideas, uh, risk management, and so on. So basically, it's mostly uh, you, you always have long and short positions in your book. And basically, you, you, there are a lot of names for those strategies, like some call them pair trading. I don't. I, I, I don't think it's a good name, but yeah, but uh, I'm never long or never only long or never only short. I always have a, a long, short book. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, so, uh, so and for the last five years, I can at least at least say I'm profitable. So, uh, and what uh, what helped me is mentors from uh, from ITPM and, edu and proper education. Okay, I understand. And um, so when did you discover volatility, fractals, risk range, etc.? And uh, how did you figure out for a way to trade the market? Yeah, so uh, my interest in uh, volatility started about uh, four years ago. Uh, first, it was not fractal math at all. It was uh, volatility modeling because uh, four years ago, I became very interested in uh, trading options. So when once I started trading options, reading, learning, and so on, so, I, so my interest in volatility and volatility modeling grew. So first I started uh, playing around with uh, Garch, uh, different Garch models and uh, so on. So Markov switching. Uh, yeah, so I knew uh, who Benoit Mandel brought was uh, I have read his book Mis Mis Behavior of Markets uh, like four years ago for the first time, but of course I don't think that I understood uh, correctly what was uh, written in that book, what he tried to say, and the importance of it. Yeah, so first couple of years <clears throat> I was modeling volatility using some regular uh, waves like Garch and so on, and used it in my uh, trading, and then about uh, Two years ago, maybe maybe more, uh, my my well, my good friend uh, introduced me to the firm uh, uh, Hechai. Uh, of course, majority of our users know who they are. So, uh, and he told me, "Hey, there's uh, this firm. They have this show every morning. To take a look, it may be of interest to you." And I, and I took a look, and basically, when uh, I uh, understood that I need to reread uh, all the Mandel brought uh, books and work uh, uh, again, and uh, yeah, so I did it multiple uh, times, and and then my interest started. So basically, for the last two years, two years I was, uh, and still am, of course, and I believe it's a journey of a lifetime. But uh, but for the last two years, I'm, I'm uh, playing with this and uh, spent most of my time uh, developing my my tools, my models, and the way of risk managing uh, things using fractal ranges and volatility metrics. Mm -hmm. Actually, what I want to do, what is the most uh, important thing that really got my interest uh, was uh, to, on the Hedge YouTube channel, where is 2015 interview with Buddy Carter. 
Yeah, and when I saw Buddy Carter, he's a great uh, human, great investor. Uh, so, so, and I started following him on Twitter, basically like uh, taking screenshots of all, all, almost every of his tweets and like staring at those uh, charts and numbers and so on for hours and hours and hours. And basically uh, it, uh, it, 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 it also was very important part of my uh, interest because it, yeah, of course it was not practical math and so on, but Buddy Carter showed me that even uh, very simple things, very basic things like uh, ATRs, uh, standard deviations and the square returns and so can give you a lot of information and so on. So yeah, so that was also very huge, huge inspiration. And uh, yeah, so what I want to tell it's a risk management tool. So uh, the main uh, point of it is basically to help you with your timing uh, when you have a trading idea. So whether you want to buy something or sell something, or maybe you already have a position. Uh, so it, it can tell you whether it's good or bad um, time to, to act on it. So the fractal range is not a uh, some idea generation tool. So I think the biggest mistake a person can make is just basically take a random ticker and see, oh, it's now uh, at the low end of the range, let's buy it. Or, oh, it's at the high end of the range, let's short it. I mean, so yeah, but when you have your ideas, doesn't matter where you, those ideas are coming from, from your process, from some research or whatever, when you have your ideas, uh, it, it's very important to, know your uh, timing in risk management because i remember one of the most important lessons from itpm that i learned was uh, that idea is not a trade and I i'm not sure that I, I understood it from the first time when i was being told that but now i uh, fully understand that yeah and that uh, that idea is not a trade you can have a lot of ideas in your spreadsheets or somewhere that uh, of stocks and instruments you are bullish or bearish but uh, it doesn't mean that if you are bullish on something, you need to buy it right away. Maybe this idea is already has already played out, and it, maybe it's already too late, or maybe it's it's too early. Maybe yeah. So, so that's why I always needed a tool to somehow uh, understand uh, how to not be a blind uh, guy who is uh, buying and selling things randomly because doesn't matter even if i have an idea fundamental predisposition still i was trading blindly because uh, yeah okay now i want to buy xyz okay i open trading platform and i buy it yeah and and uh, when i built my tool uh, yeah, it completely changed uh, the way i trade and and then i finally understood what i was being told that yeah idea is not a trade you can have as many ideas as you want it doesn't mean that it's already a position yeah. <clears throat> it's uh, like you said it's a risk management uh, tool yeah it's uh, the best way to know uh, when to get in when to get out when to buy some when to sell some and uh, yeah give you uh, an edge more yeah, confidence yeah, yeah and actually uh, the great benoit mandel brought in his book and his behavior of markets and in, in his other papers and so on uh, told it multiple times and there is a quote of, well, I don't remember it exactly, but yeah, of course, that you cannot predict the price, you cannot predict the market, but but you can you can avoid its biggest punches, something like that. And, and actually this uh, uh, studying volume, volatility, and um, overall levels of um, price can uh, give you a signal that maybe maybe it's time to stay on the side sidelines because the storm is coming so yeah of course it's not some holy grail but it, but uh, i believe that uh, in the long run the most important uh, thing is to the preservation of capital so so what we need as traders as investors uh, uh, what we need to do is first to not lose our money so 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 this tool can help you avoid your drawdown yeah okay. i totally agree i totally agree and um, what, what would you tell to the people who are still drawing lines on charts and uh, keep seeing those, li those lines broken every day? 
uh, I think there, there will all be always be uh, these people, and and the majority of uh, traders will do it because it's appealing. It's easy. First of all, it's easy. There's a lot of information, so uh, I don't think it's a problem. I think, I, I believe that uh, yeah, they they can draw lines. Uh, what what I can tell, it doesn't work. They will not make money in the long run, but. Again, like uh, in the beginning of our conversation, I said that yeah, some people will learn their mistakes and then start. They, they will start uh, seeking proper education. Some don't. Some will uh, uh, just uh, lose money and never um, go back to trading. So basically, they will simply uh, close their trading accounts and then that's it. Some will maybe will continue losing money and drawing lines and so on. But some. Some will learn their lessons and uh, and uh, will find uh, another way. Will understand that there is a better way. So, yeah, what I can tell, basically, to answer your question, yeah, don't draw those uh, stupid lines. It doesn't work. But I don't think that's the main problem. I think uh, the main problem, uh, yeah, actually, that's a good topic. The, the main problem, at least here in Europe, they say there is a statistics from financial regulators which says something about 90, 90, 90 that. 90% of traders lose 90% of money. I, I believe you heard it. Yeah, but I believe that, uh, uh, why? It's uh, because the majority of people, they open trading accounts, make uh, some dumb shit, which is good, but uh, <laughs> but then they, uh, they lose money and uh, they never try to educate themselves. They just simply lose money and that's it. So yeah, then they are part of the statistic, of course. But 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 again, I think to open trading account, do some uh, dumb uh, stuff, and lose money can be good if you view it as a lesson, as a I don't know tuition fee or something like that. And yeah, so so you you have you have back tested uh, the the risk management system, for example, that we are using in uh, my fractal range. I mean, in comparison with other uh, tools and. Uh, I mean, uh, what did you what did you notice? You know, when you back tested it, yeah, I noticed that um, very uh, that is actually very interesting because the width of width of a range, so whether the range is wide or narrow, and whether the range is making higher higher so higher or, or lower lows and so on, can tell you very very different in, information. So uh, then I back tested first, of course. Uh, then I started. Uh, playing with reskill ranges and building uh, the tools. So I had no idea uh, how it would, will work out, how it will work. What basically, what first I started, okay. So how uh, the price uh, beha behaves when it uh, is close to the low end or close to the high end and uh, whether it's bullish or bearish trend. Uh, and uh, but uh, but now I look at it completely different because uh, yeah it's a combination of different uh, situations, different scenarios, and uh, not only trend and range high, range low matters. But uh, for for example, if if range is wide, you can say that okay volatility is increasing. But uh, also uh, if uh, high end moves more or low end moves more, so if 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 low end is uh, increasing, yeah, your, your 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 risk is increasing. Is if higher high end is increasing, uh, you you will you behave differently. So, uh, of course, I ran a lot of uh, back tests, uh, even uh, some Monte Carlo simulations and some uh, other statistical analysis to see. But uh, there's no yeah. So the result is that there is no one way to use this this risk management so it's again it's study on volume and volatility so so it will tell you whether the storm is coming or not but uh, i'm learning new things about it every day and i receive a feedback from clients and subscribers every day and actually and uh, some subscribers told me things that i had no idea that oh you, you, your range works well in this scenario or that scenario and i had no idea that so of course it's a journey for life and so so yeah for sure yeah but now i don't look blind simply at uh, whether the price is near the low end or near the high end i look at what volatility so is doing and by that i mean what the range is doing. So of course, whether it's wide or widening or narrowing or higher highs or lower lows and so on. Yeah, we, we encourage uh, actually uh, the subscriber to keep a notebook 
and to write down you know the changes they see you know some of them will be highlighted in the directly in the software i mean you can see like the higher high lower or low or even the the uh, you don't have higher high you don't have lower or low so maybe the range is like uh, tightening or this kind of stuff but it's better to keep a notebook to write down the the things that you you notice you know some uh, striking stuff that may indicate a change in profile of the volatility of the asset yeah, this is yeah. The most important. having discipline in any process in any business in every activity is very important so yeah having discipline and uh, so so how would you define uh, my fractal range the, the website that we are we have launched uh, uh, with you and somebody else uh, I cannot name, but we are three partners. Um, how would you define my fractal range to people who know nothing about uh, this tool? Maybe they know nothing about fractals. Uh, can can they try it out? I mean, uh, what would you tell to these people? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. So of course. So first of all, it's a risk management tool. Uh, it will never be a trading idea generator. And I know that some traders will use, will use it anyway as a trading idea generator, which is not. But, uh, but yeah, first of all, it's a risk management tool. So uh, this tool is for everyone who is uh, managing their portfolios actively. And I, I'm not talking necessarily about day trading, but I'm talking about actively. So uh, if a person is a buy and hold investor who is buying index funds and uh, holding them for 30 years, which is fine, awesome. But yeah, this tool is not for those people. Uh, yeah, so this tool is for active investors who are um, uh, trading in and out of their uh, positions based on macro or, or some other processes and so on. And, and uh, this tool can help a lot with uh, uh, timing, with reducing the drawdowns, I, I would say. I will never say that this tool can help you uh, increase your returns or something. Uh, maybe it will, maybe, maybe it's not. The, the most important thing, it will help you to save time and avoid losses. Because the worst thing for an investor, what can happen is basically you buy something uh, even if you believe in it it uh, falls 30 percent and you when uh, lose the entire year until you wait for it to come back or maybe you cut the losses and and so on uh, so uh, i'm using it every day and uh, uh, we i'm sure we will work hard to make sure that it will help uh, if you use it properly, uh, that it will help to reduce the uh, drawdown. So, so for me, it's uh, it's important. It, basically, our vision here is um, that basically you can you will be able to enter any asset and uh, to see uh, all the necessary information for the asset. So, of course, whether that asset is in bullish, bearish, or maybe neutral, uh, where is the current price? Uh, of that asset in the relation to it, uh, its uh, ranges, uh, fractal ranges. So you will know maybe whether it's a good time to act or not. Of course, it, it will be a long journey and we have a lot of work to do because now it's mostly stocks and ETFs, but we have a lot of plans for the future. So so the, the vision is that it will work with, uh, with uh, different asset classes. Yeah, for, for instance, you know, I've been using it for for uh, cryptos because we have uh, we have our admin account, you know, uh, for us. And uh, I get this question all the time, you know, when are you launching for cryptos? We so... will, we will. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, I will say this. For now, um, the priority is uh, to make the existing features smooth to fix all the bugs and to make user uh, experience uh, good. That's the most <coughs> priority. When a majority of bugs are fixed and all the existing features work uh, well, then we will uh, start implementing new ideas. And yes, of course, crypto is coming. When? I don't know. Hopefully this summer. Hopefully. Okay, very good. It's very good news. Okay, uh, I'm checking if I, I prepare more questions. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for instance, um, we've talked about we've talked about it in the past, but uh, uh, it's uh, I mean maybe it's a plan long term. But 
do you see institutionals using uh, our system for for their own uh, trading uh, i mean is it suitable for institutionals or is it only for retailers no no it's not only for retailers and um, uh, some institutions already contacted me yeah so there will be institutional offerings uh, uh, for for sure and i believe that uh, some institutions can benefit from our offerings of course so yeah it's not only for retail okay okay yeah i want i want to say something also about uh, retail you know i mean uh, uh, the, we we will launch uh, the subscription uh, very soon and uh, the price will be very affordable i mean our id is uh, accessible for everyone i mean uh, we like vaidota said you know we have all gone through the the, the the path of losing money and uh, actually it's better if we have a subscriber who make money you know so we want to help them and give them the this tool uh, not at like six figure you know per year like uh, no, you know no, no. no we want to make it very affordable and uh, make it possible for the small guys to to use this tool for their daily life i mean yes. If you trade for your family, etc., you can you can take a thirty percent drawdown, etc., because some guys said uh, uh, this or that, you know, because uh, uh, this is the best idea, and uh, actually it's very trend. So why would you buy this uh, this thing, you know? So yeah, capital preservation, like you said, you know, this, we are playing the long game, not uh, the short uh, short term game. Yes, it's the most important thing, and I fully agree. Uh, it's very important, and I believe that uh, information, ed education, and information must be available for everyone and uh, and uh, at an affordable price. And I I'm very happy that uh, currently uh, uh, there uh, were some new firms launched and basically now retail investors have even more access to a very to the institutional grade uh, information at a very uh, afford at very affordable prices and I hope that it will democratize investing and uh, and uh, so on yeah so I'm very happy and of course of course the goal is um, for it to be affordable for ed everyone and not some uh, like oh if you if you can pay me six figures i will give you this if you cannot pay me then sorry no yeah i will give you a phone call yeah <laughs> you know? we'll give you a phone call yeah, yeah you know. okay so i'm going to the twitter questions uh okay so no filter okay so, <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh basically is King, what look back period is being used is being used and uh, if there is a event that happened in the last x period is that reflected in the range and is it uh, discounting or contributing to the range yeah okay um good question so mm, be, there are uh, multiple models, so you, so you will see that, for, first of all, that there are uh, shorter term ranges and longer term ranges, but <laughs> each of them is not using static uh, periods, so it, the, it's not like it's uh, 20 days and so on, and basically it uses 20 days. Uh, the period changes. Uh, the period changes um, when the volatility, with the volatility. So the, the volatility profile of the asset? Yes. Back there, right? Yes. So, uh, uh, but there are ceilings of ceilings for each. So, um, for the shorter term ranges, you can say that it's one month or less. So, so it will never use uh, more than uh, one month of of data. Uh, yeah. yeah. But basically, how it, uh, if, for example, I will give you a good example. If uh, you use a static period for volatility modeling, uh, then. Uh, if you try to model something like uh, GME, AMC, just an example for now, because now we're living in interesting times and you, let's say you use, oh, last uh, 20 days as an example, and you try to model. And after a couple of days like this, then AMC goes like 100% up, then 50% down. Then so this range would uh, say like, I believe like that downside is zero and upside is like thousand. I mean, so it would be unusable at all so and the uh, fractal modeling uh, yeah it's a multi-direction and multi-time frame you can call that so uh, 
So it takes all the probable uh, outcome scenarios in different periods and then uh, combines them into the model. So, so if volatility is very high, of course, you can expect that the look back <coughs> period is lower. Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, the answer is very simple. Otherwise, the ranges will be as so wide it will be unusable. I mean, it will say that downside is zero and upside is like a lot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And for uh, longer term ranges, so our subscribers will have access to longer term ranges. So it's three months or more, you can call it. So, so again, uh, if uh, uh, volatility is very low, so we can use uh, uh, more and some sometimes even significantly more, but it will yeah. never use less than three months. So yeah, period is not static. So uh, what was the next part of the question? Something about the event. So yeah, if yeah, exogenous event. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So so it's so so absolutely. So yeah, that's the main thing. We, if that event is reflected in the volatility of an asset, and we all know that it will be reflected in the uh, in the next period. So after that happens, so in next minute, next hour, next day, whatever that is. So yeah, it it it's. <coughs> It's reflected in volatility, so the model takes that volatility. So, so, so yes, of course, it uh, changes the range and uh, and the range ref re reflects that. So, okay. again, uh, good. example of GME or AMC is a good example. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. One it's like a tsunami uh, coming, you know. Uh, yeah, one crazy day, and then the, the range will t will say you that whoa, 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 wait, it's, it's <laughs> like uh, crazy. <laughs> So. Yeah, yeah. IMC was uh, was a very good example. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Paul Caruso fifty asked the same question. So it was what are the time frames associated with your intermediate intermediate term and longer term range? So yeah, we so already one month or less, uh, or three months or more, you can say it with this. Yeah, da David uh, also has the same. Yeah, time frame is fixed period or variable. Was no, not fixed. Not fixed. And. Um, yeah, is the question is funny. He said, uh, "Can a range be given that ends on target date? You know, like uh, can you see the future by the task?" Uh, no, no, <laughs> I cannot see. But but if someone knows uh, a model which can tell me the future, let me know. I will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like, like we said, David, uh, um, it's a risk management system. It's not a crystal ball. So sometimes it may look like a crystal ball. Because uh, it's uh, so accurate, you know, uh, it's uh, it's working perfectly. But the, you keep in mind, it's not a crystal ball. It's a risk management system. If you notice some stuff lower, uh, lower low in the bullish trend, maybe time to think about it. If you see this change from bullish to neutral, also note this, and then switch to bearish. Definitely need to note this. Yeah. So, and, uh, also, what's really important is position sizing. Uh, there is a other thing, other firm, a uh, majority of you know, who, are, who did a very great job at explaining position <coughs> sizing. So I will not talk about that. But of course, I mean, if something is bullish and at the low end of the range, it doesn't mean that you need to commit 50% of your capital into that idea. I mean, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but no, yeah. I cannot see a future. And uh, again, let me know if that you is, know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so this one I will take. It's a uh, carve toe. He asked what future, what features are being worked on to further develop the myofractal range product. Is the notion of adding a signal for buy sell points being considered? So this one I will take. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, the features we are currently working on. Uh, so not talking about fixing bugs, etc. Talking about the features. Uh, we will display uh, the probably the top 20 uh, looked at uh, assets by the whole community. Now the community is pretty big, so we may have uh, something significant to show. So this is one of the feature we're going to show. Another feature is also to to give some signal to user a list, you know, of uh, maybe the ticker you follow or the ticker followed by everyone to say, okay. Uh, uh, these are the changes, for example, regarding trend. This one went from bullish to bearish, you know, so you will have some kind of uh, list of this, or maybe the 30 day uh, look back uh, went from um, uh, the top of the range doing a higher high to maybe go to not doing it, you know, so this kind of thing. Uh, also, some products such as, yeah, the crypto we were talking about, 
uh, and uh, yeah, notion of adding signal. So yeah, actually we have a feature for alerts. Uh, the, the third musketeer have developed uh, this tool, but we are currently uh, trying it out. The problem is um, it's a bit tricky because uh, like uh, Vaidota said, uh, the, the range change all the time. You, know, you may have an uh, exogenous event and uh, the range uh, and the trend were like this, but the next day, you know, it's uh, something happened. It's not, uh, it's not there. So the problem of making alerts, uh, for sure, it's very appealing, but it could be uh, very dangerous. Uh, so we have this feature currently uh, in testing mode. Um, it may be released this year, but we need a lot of testing. And also we need to be very careful if we are releasing this thing uh, not to have uh, some people going like commando, you know, because oh, I got the alert. It must be, you know, the place I need to go and there is 20% upside. So maybe I go all in, you know? So, um, yeah. So we are working on a lot of features and uh, basically this year, we're going to roll out a lot of stuff for, for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, so JC, uh, how to pronounce uh, your name correctly. So we said, huh, by the task. By the task. Yeah, it's actually a very, it's a Lithuanian name, right? Yes, it's a Lithuanian name. Okay. Uh, okay, so test cricket. <clears throat> so uh, I saw this question. Um, yeah, I think he's missing uh, the link between volatility and uh, the range. But so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you, you know, without filter. If a stock implied volatility is rising, does that automatically mean it's rescale trading range will sh will shrink no actually in most cases it's the contrary yeah the, the other way but yeah no it doesn't mean that the, the range will shrink not at all yeah so test cricket basically if the volatility increase the 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 range of probabilities uh increase so it means uh, you may have some uh, stock you know uh, which was uh, uh, whose ranges were sh shrinking, but then the volatility has some, you know, some event, you know, because of some external uh, something, you know, or maybe we don't know, you know, just the volatility profile is changing. Maybe he is asking about the implied volatility premium discount, which is a completely different thing. But no, if if you are talking about implied volatility, not at all, and in most cases the other way around, actually. So. Yeah, and the implied volatility discount is not part uh, of the model calculations. It's part of the, uh, you know, other process, your your decision may, making process, but the premium or, or discount is not part of the equation to calculate the range. Yeah, totally. Uh, he asked another question, and uh, this is a question you used to get a lot you know with uh, your uh, with your pattern and I don't get it often uh, but uh, I think people uh, they, they just figure out uh, why you know but why these ranges sometimes differ from other firms that may be offering fractally modeled risk ranges on indices and actually I would go further why you have different trend for example, how did you get the Bitcoin before everyone? Uh, how did you get uh, CTRN before everyone? You know, why does it differ, and uh, why is they are more efficient? Yeah. So uh, believe me, I received this question like uh, at least uh, I don't know hundred of times maybe, uh, especially in the beginning when uh, people uh, became more and more interested in my Patreon. That was the most. Uh, asked question for new subscribers but yeah so so okay of course i fully understand why people are asking this so uh, i i will say this if uh, the guy from the other firm uh, can tell me uh, how he is calculating his stuff then i can answer that question otherwise i cannot answer the question because how can i know why it's different because uh, uh, I have my models, some other people have their own models, and uh, and yeah, there's no such thing as uh, one uh, equation that uh, is being used for uh, all, the, uh, all, the, all, all the calculations and so on, and fractal math is not some kind of e equation. It's not a... Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I answered this question in the past, like, uh, it's, it's uh, like we are 
we are doing uh, all these providers. We are all doing French food, but uh, we we are just different restaurants. Exactly. So you know, I mean, uh, you cannot compare. You know, the the, the cook is different. The, yeah. The... So yeah. So uh, <laughs> short and simple answer is I don't know, and I don't have a, an idea, and I'm sure I'm not, and I'm not sure that I want to know. I mean, so yeah. <laughs> so they, they are not they are not fake. I mean, I just need to be sure. You... Oh, of course they are fake. It's a random number generator. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, uh, did, and did you steal? I mean, somebody said. Uh, I don't remember who, but did you steal the, the ranges from somebody? No, no, no. Uh, no okay. This feature is built in in Python uh, library. NumPy, it has random number generator. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, so jokes aside, uh, actually uh, uh, one of my math uh, teachers in, in school uh, told me, uh, I don't remember that uh, exactly, but because it was like 20 years ago or so, but basically, come on, it's math. Everything is made up. I mean, so, <laughs> so. <laughs> yes, this is a good answer. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Miss Alice, uh, uh, so we may have answered this question, but maybe we can push into the question is generally, how are you determining a trend? Yeah, so mm, the trend uh, uh, equation is different from the ranges equation. So, of course, it's two different uh, formulas combined together. So, uh, the range uses uh, volume and price, uh, basically. So, uh, so uh, of course, uh, I use volume quite heavily in that to determine whether moves are uh, strong or, or, or weak, but basically, the trend, uh, of course, if the price moves significantly up or down, uh, the trend cannot say the other way. And sadly, uh, we all saw a lot of examples in the past where, I mean, asset goes parabolically up, but you can find on the internet that someone says it's bearish or the other way. So, so yeah, it's a it's very simple formula with. Um, uh, look back period and it takes volume and uh, and price volatility changes uh, and uh, it calculates the level based on that look back period uh, you can call it volume adjusted level or whatever because it's it, it, volume plays a significant part yeah but basically there is a level for that look back period and above that level uh, it, it can be bullish below it can be bearish and also there is a uh, uh, in the middle, so not, not, not only near that uh, level, but but also if uh, the price is not making higher highs, lower lows, and so on, it can also be neutral. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay. I'm checking to see if uh, there are some new questions. Some guys said uh, it's uh, uncommercial, it's so lame uh, about uh, making that interview. I think it's actually pretty you and uh, it blocked you, uh, this guy, uh, this comment. Uh, I mean, uh, he, I mean, this kind of comment is very lame. Some people actually uh, need uh, risk management. We are trying to make sure, especially the people who use trading to support their families, they are not getting wiped out. Okay. So yeah, anyway, some people. Huh? Actually, somebody asked another uh, uh, three questions. Uh, it's uh, Tom Casper. Uh, so thank you, Tom, for. So trend, what time framing is being used, already asked. Yes. It would be nice to see a column indicating expanding or contracting range volatility for each ticker. Yeah, maybe maybe in the future. It's actually, uh, that would be a nice feature. I'm, I'm adding it. Um, uh, yeah, they're asking to get the, are we not giving the historical ranges of uh, the no, no, no. I think that it's important for a client to put in his own work so and to, to have a discipline and process. So, yeah, if you want historical data, you can write it down or export or export CSV files from the website or write it down on notebook and create your, your own historical uh, data set. So at least for now, we have no plans of adding historical data on our website. Yeah, but, uh, you but, can uh, but just you, buy a notebook and yeah, you can create that. Yeah, I like the second point, uh, Tom. This one, uh, what well, finish to to everything? Uh, maybe uh, something we can do. Uh, yeah, I mean that's it for 
questions. I mean, uh, any you may think about for new users or people who are, you know, tend to join. I mean, it's free. We have a one month free trial for June. So I mean, uh, try you know, and uh, have a look. Do you have any last words for for Redditors? Yeah. So first of all, uh, yeah, actually, um, I have because uh, I want to thank um, all of the people who actually supported me. Uh, uh, for the last uh, like uh, half of the uh, half a year or or or, or so, who gave uh, a lot of positive uh, feedback and encouraged me to uh, continue. And of course, without them, what we are doing now would not happen. So so of course, if yeah. So thank you all uh, and uh, thanks for having me, Raphael and. Uh, we will work very hard to provide as much value as possible in the future. So, yeah, yeah same. Uh, I want to thank everybody. Uh, it's, uh, it's very cool to see helping so many people. I mean, uh, I, I joke about the, the FAQ, you know, the people asking questions, but uh, most question, for most of the feedback we get are actually, uh, yeah, like uh, live uh, comment. Uh, yeah, uh, we are helping people uh, get better at, at trading and uh, we will try to to keep on doing this so thank you everyone uh, i think we will do some video for, i'm pretty sure we will do some video with some of the of the the current users of our platform so they can give you their feedbacks uh, like by dota said some people they are using uh, the tool in a way some are in another so we may get some different point of view uh, you know uh, it could be interesting for for new new people or even experienced people to know more about how to better their use of the tool absolutely okay uh, bye. have a great day and uh, thank you for taking the time yeah markets are about to open so yeah, yeah. <laughs> good luck yeah, i'm looking at i'm looking at gold right now making a shitload of money it's crashing you know, it's very good finally <laughs> Okay, yeah. have a good day. You have a good day. Bye. Bye.